guys welcome back to my channel how you doing hope you're keeping safe and healthy today i'll be talking to you about the northwest region of cameroon things you should know about the northwest region of cameroon and hmm, i cannot talk about the northwest region without looking like the northwest region so guys these things you seen on me the dress the beat the hair hmm, is bamenda and the hairstyle everything is bamenda yeah, they generally call people from the Northwest region Bamenda. Bamenda is just the headquarters of the Northwest region or the capital. Yeah. But for some reasons, they just generally call everyone from the Northwest region Bamenda. So I'm talking to you guys about Bamenda today. Yeah, guys. Bamenda. That's why you look at me. I'm all Bamenda, Bamenda like. <laughs> guys, don't mind me. I'm so excited because I'm from Bamenda. And yeah, I love Bamenda. Mm. You can see it on me. I love Bamenda. So guys, the first thing I'm going to tell you about the person from Bamenda. In fact, when I say about the person from Bamenda, I'm generalizing it because three quarter of the population act that way. So things you should know about Bamenda people. These are some of the things you need to know about Bamenda people. The first thing you should know about Bamenda people is that they have concern for one another. I know someone might be like they mind other people's businesses, but no, they have concern. If you're living beside a Bamenda person, even when they've moved to another region of Cameroon, you see the way they behave, you see how concerned they are. If they sleep or they stay for one or two days without seeing the neighbor, they must go around and check and ask, where is this person? Where has the person gone to? How is this person? Is this person sick? And if you're living beside a person from Bamenda and you put to bed, they're just going to shower you with food care attention come to your house wash your clothes see the people are just really so concerned about each other to a fault yeah some people say they mind others businesses but no to me i see like they are really concerned about each other another very important thing to note about a person from bamenda is they are so united when you see people from Bamenda, they are united, like wherever they go, because in Bamenda, they speak English language. As I said, when I say Bamenda, I'm talking of the Northwest region. You can never see this unity among them. Even when they go out of their region, they go elsewhere. When you see, when you hear anybody speaking English, you just notice that they start shifting and going close to that person. They try to get to know the person. They greet, they associate, they ask, them, where are you from? In Bamenda, which village? Yeah. They try to get to know you. They don't just ignore each other. So they are so united. They have village groups, even in other regions of Cameroon. They create village groups, trade unions. They do stuff. Like that. Another thing to note about a Bamenda man is a Bamenda person is well organized. I mean, they are so organized that when you come to their towns, you see the setting of the towns, you will see how organized it is. Like, they have in their markets, they have separate places in which they do particular things that if you want something, you don't necessarily have to move inside the whole market to get it. You have to just go to a particular spot to get whatever it is you want. Even in their schools, you see how they are going to school. You see children from Bamenda when they are going to school. You see, they are neat. They put on black shoes, no other color, black shoes, white socks. They tuck in their shirts, in their skirts. And the guys, they wear their jackets. They are clean, local. They don't plot in Bamenda schools. There are no school there that they plot, except maybe some private schools. Yeah, that, yeah. But most of the schools in Bamenda, they don't plot. They are so organized. They are neat. Like, if they say today is blue, everybody is wearing blue. If they say tomorrow is white, everybody is wearing white. I mean, the people are the most organized set of people I've seen in Cameroon. I've not gone over Cameroon. You should not come and watch this video and start telling me that where have you gone to. Yeah. But so far, so good. Bamenda people are really organized. If somebody is really truthful to you, they will testify that Bamenda people are so organized. Another thing to note about someone from Bamenda is they love education. Bamenda people love to be educated. Like, they like going to schools. One of the good, good schools here in Cameroon, you find them in Bamenda. Both primary, secondary, yeah. You will see very good schools there. And children that study in Bamenda, when you see how they interact, how they behave, you see that they are actually smarter than other students. Like, like they are smart in the way they behave. They are well-cultured. They, they have an organized way because 
but mean that people love education. You see somebody is struggling to survive in life, but the person tries by all cause. I know my child has to go to school. Another thing to note about a Bamenda person is they are one another skipper. In Bamenda, you can hardly see the children misbehaving in front of elders or no. Because that elder, even if it is not your even if it's not your father or your mother, the person is going to discipline you there and there. And in Bamenda, if somebody just has to shout like thief, the way they are going to bounce on that thief. It's not like in some places where you go and they are stealing from you. Others are just passing. They don't even care to see if whatever is happening. No. A Bamenda person, they are, they're like, people from Bamenda are one another skipper. If they meet you in situations, they help you. If a Bamenda man is walking on the way and meets you down, the person stops and helps you, get you back on your feet before continuing whatever it is they are doing. And if you yell that someone is stealing from you, they help you to fight. Even if someone is breaking in your house and attacking you, the moment they get that sound, everybody goes there to help you. If you have a problem, they contribute to help you. Like They are one another skipper. Any issue you have, there are people around you, the neighbors, they don't even need to be blood related to you. They just have that one another skipper attitude in them. That they are always concerned about what is happening to the next neighbor and how should we help this person? What can we do to help this person? Anything, even when you are not expecting, like you might put to bed, you might have a baby here, you just see the neighbor sit and they're discussing, let's buy soap, let's buy this, let's prepare food and visit that person. Yeah, that's a typical attitude of a Bamenda man. They are one another's keeper. If they seize your back in the market, you just need to yell, thief. And now, in fact, five minutes, they are bringing a bag back to you because they are going to chase the person who stole the bag. And until the person returns the bag, they are not letting that person go. So, yeah, that's a typical attitude of a Bamenda person. Another thing to note about the person from Bamenda is they are well cultured and they have good manners. A Bamenda man or woman or child passes you on the way, they must greet you. Is, is something that is in them that whenever they go elsewhere they don't know how to they greet you they cannot control it there are some people that you greet them you just greet them how are you they just behave like i remember when i first went to Douala, i greeted one woman one day that bonjour she turned and asked me that what is bonjour that what is good in the morning something like i cannot really speak french but she was so upset at me like for greeting her there are many people I've greeted here in Duwala that they didn't respond back to me. I was so shocked. I was like, how can somebody just be greeting you and you're ignoring the person like that? You're upset with the person. Somebody is wishing you a good morning and you are just upset. Why? In Bamena, it's not like that. You greet everybody. People greet, smile, come, get up in the morning. They go to the neighbor's house. They ask, how did you sleep? How was your night? How? What happened? Have you eaten? They like They care for one another. They have good manners. When they meet you, you do something wrong, they have to apologize to you. If they, they wrong you in any way, they are apologizing. They are not these type of people that they carry it on and cannot apologize. They apologize. They feel like, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. How can I make it up to you? Like, a Bamen, that person has good manners. That is it. Another point is, a Bamen, that person is very clean. Bamen, that people are so clean. When you go to their town, you see the way it's organized. You see how clean it is. They even put a notice on signboards that if you throw that year, you, you are going to pay 25000 They mean it there. You throw it, you will pay. So people do their best to keep everything clean. They have um, the council employs people that move around, clean the town, should in case something comes there. Like the town is really clean. You move, you see small streams in the town, like they are really clean. They are not as black and dirty as, yeah. As some of the streams I see here in Duala, I'm really shocked. Like, water is black. You're even afraid to look at it. But no, it's not like that in Bamenda. The people are clean. Their streets are clean. Their houses, the inhabitants are really clean. It's difficult to see nasty things all over. Even now that they have a crisis going on. But they are really still clean. They do their best to manage their town to make it look nice. So yeah, that's a typical aspect of a Bamenda man. Clean. Okay, guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you've been watching from the beginning up to now, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your effort, your support. Please, if you have any suggestion or any point to add here, leave it in the comment section. 
and yeah guys if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel like and comment on my video and guys share my video so those who don't know will get to watch my videos and enjoy it thank you guys bye, -bye.